Hey folks, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you guys how to upload um, your syllabus and then some documents if you need to upload notes and stuff into your course shell. So what you're going to do is to upload your syllabus, you click syllabus. Normally there's not anything in here. You're just going to go ahead and click edit. And then you're going to go to add and browse and then just go to um, wherever that folder is, whether you saved it on your desktop. Um, I'm just going to pick a random syllabus to update. Um, let's say it's this one right here, and so I double click that. Again, you want to update, upload this as a PDF. And then after you get that uploaded, um, just go ahead and click Save Changes, and then um, your syllabus will show up there. Um, if you need to upload notes, you're going to want to turn Editing on. You then want to select Add a Topic. And that, this is going to create a folder for you. So we'll call this one Course Notes. I add that folder. Again, you won't have these folders in here. Um, go ahead and click on that folder. And go to Add Resource. And then select File. Um, you're going to be uploading the zip notes. So um, we'll call these first one. Um, if this is we can call this first one chapter one notes um, you need to put something in the description here and then you can go to add file and browse and just like you did with your syllabus just go find those notes so I'll just pick some here's some 050 notes and then I go ahead and select the file again you want to upload these as PDFs and then go to save and return to course um, there is a shortcut to this, so if you have a specific file, sorry, let me let me get to a specific file. Let's see, say I've got my my course notes right here. Um, you can actually drag and drop notes in here, and they will upload that way too. So this is a lot faster. So if you have to upload notes, that's maybe a good way to do it. Is you just click on the PDF, and you see how over here it says move, and when you move those over there, it actually puts those in the completed course notes folder or the course notes folder and you don't have to spend all the time adding a resource every single time so um, let me know if you have any trouble with this um, or if any of this is unclear and I can try to help clarify this for you